what is going on guys? It is Insomnia from the Mexican Gamers channel and I have some World at War team deathmatch for you guys. And uh, I just got on my botany lab class and it was so boring. Uh, but I'm finally getting <laughs> getting some time to to do a commentary. And uh, you know I'm not going to talk about the gameplay, you guys know me. I like um, you know, talking about other things. Um, so I wanted to share a little experience with you guys, a little story. Uh, an experience that I recently just went through this past weekend uh, when I went to Mexico. Um, a little background before I get into the whole story. I go to Mexico a lot, at least once a week. Um, yes, I was born and raised here in the United States, but, you know, I go um, to Mexico, like I said, at least once a week for as long as I can remember. You know, my parents have been taking me since I was probably like two years old um, because I still have a lot of family over there. And um, that's where my parents were born and raised. Um, and then they migrated over here to the United States. Um, so, yeah, uh, now that we got that out of the way. Um, so I, was, I went to Mexico and I actually took my laptop because I was playing the Battlefield Bad Company 2 campaign. You know, I'm still trying to get used to the PC controls, you know, with the mouse and keyboard. And I'm passing the campaign right before I jump into multiplayer because I don't want to get <laughs> raped uh, that bad. I, I'm a complete noob at PC gaming, so, you know, I, that's why I'm, I'm passing the campaign before I jump into multiplayer. So I, I was passing the campaign and I'm sitting in a couch. Um, then my four-year-old uh, girl cousin approaches me. And uh, she sits next to me uh, in the couch, and she she starts watching me play this game. And uh, you know, take note that this is a very violent game, Battlefield: Bad Company 2. It's it's dealing with war, and you know, it's not the ideal thing to be showing a four-year-old, uh, you know, little girl, an innocent little girl. Um, so you know, but I was so into the game that it didn't hit me that I you know she shouldn't be watching this. I should have, you know, um, taken her to another room, or I should just turned it off. Or something like that, but it didn't hit me. I also went to the game, so she's just watching me amazed. She's, you know, you could see the look in her eyes. It was, she was amazed, kind of like in shock, but she was curious, and it all looked kind of familiar to her, which is the sad part, because she's only a four-year-old little girl. Um, so, you know, I'm playing the game, and then she, she finally asks me, you know, what are we watching? And I, I tell her, you know, oh, nothing, it's just a game that I'm playing. And then she she says, uh, "Are you, you know, are you that soldier that's that's killing everybody?" Um, and uh, you know that's that's when it hit me. You know, Mexico right now is in a in, you know in a horrible state of violence. Um, recently, there was a, a casino massacre. It happened in Monterrey. Uh, you know, armed armed civil no, well not civilians. There, you know, it's organized crime. You know, armed. Armed suspects got off, uh, you know, a couple of trucks, and they 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 went into a casino. They they, you know, spilled gasoline or I don't know what it was on the in the entrance of the casino, and they actually lit it on fire. So 50, uh, uh, more than 50 people lost their lives. A very very sad, very very tragic moment for you know the whole country, the whole nation, um, in Mexico, and you know it was it was, you know, it's stuff like that that really saddens me, and that's you know. I started thinking about all that when she asked me if I was killing all those people because she's exposed to this violence and it's really really sad that at four years old she you know she doesn't get to keep that innocence she already knows what what that is you know what I mean because it's all over the news right now what Mexico is going through is you know this extreme you know state of violence um, it calms down but you know in moments like this it, it, it just keeps coming back um, the drug cartels are controlling the stuff I don't really want to get into it be, but you know it, it all hit me like she shouldn't be watching this she shouldn't I should you know try to cons conserve her innocence as, as much as possible you know so she actually is old enough to understand what is going on because right now she is four years old you know I don't think that's not normal for a four-year-old to know um, you know that you know people kill other people you know for for I don't know it's just not warfare war is not something for a four-year-old to be experiencing and you know sadly um, Mexico is going through that so she is and kids you know all over Mexico are are exposed to this kind of stuff and you know it, it's sad because like I said I feel like I a part of me grew up in Mexico as well um, I like I've been going there since I was a little little boy since I was a baby and I would, you know, go over to sleep over there with my grandparents in Mexico. And, um, you know, I love the, you know, waking up in the mornings and just taking a breath of fresh air. And I just, the smell of, smell of you know, mornings in Mexico was just so amazing. And I loved it. I loved staying over there. I loved uh, being with my grandparents in Mexico when I was a, a little kid. 
Um, and you know, just it's sad nowadays that I go back and uh, there's soldiers, you know, driving uh, with armed vehicles, you know, through the streets, you know, patrolling and stuff like that. There's not as many people out in, you know, parks, in plazas, in stores. There's not as much people because people have fear in them. Uh, even I, I don't feel as comfortable driving in Mexico with my family as I used to when I was a little boy. I remember I could run to the, the corner store without feeling you know a sense of insecurity and now it, it's all changed with this violence you know violence crisis that mexico is going through a very very sad thing and it, and it's it's frustrating because we can't you know me i feel like i grew up there and my i know my father and my mother feel this way as well because i could see it in their eyes they, they feel you know sadness because think about it think about this you grew up think about your hometown wherever you grew up and uh you go back 20 years later where you, everyone grew up with your family your friends you know your neighborhood friends wherever you grew up um, and then you go back 20 years later and that place is a war zone um, it, it's it's a tough thing to deal with and it's it, it's re it's a really really sad thing and I know it's kind of dumb that I'm speaking about violence and stuff like that and I have you know Call of Duty violence in the background but never mind the gameplay I just wanted you guys to listen to me and that's all never mind the gameplay but uh, we're run we ran out of time here guys. I think my final score was 28 and 8. So if you guys would like for me to talk you know, more about this situation. Um, and I actually took video of uh, you know, me crossing to the Mexican border. Um, when Once you get to the Mexican border, there's a huge, huge uh, flagpole. It's it's very, very, very tall. And it's I think it's actually the second tallest. I'm not sure in, in if in the continent of uh, America, like North America, Central America, and South America, or the second tallest in the world. But it's 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 tall. Um, and uh, I, I was actually going to take video of the flag because the flag is a, it's huge, guys. It's The flag is huge. So I was going to take video and maybe share it with you guys if you guys wanted to see that. But um, the flag wasn't there because right now, like I told you guys about the casino massacre and stuff like that, Mexico is in mourning. So uh, they, they took it. They took the flag down, um, you know, to, to pay respect to those people who lost their lives. Over 50 people lost their lives in that casino. So um, that's why the flag wasn't there. So, you know, I just took video of the, the tall flag post. So I'd, I'd share that that with with you guys if you guys want that and uh, it's only a 30 second little clip so um, it's nothing too long so yeah let me let me know if you guys would like to see that video um, thanks for sticking around for almost eight minutes with me wow um, thank you guys for watching and uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video peace out